Alright, hi guys. We're ready to continue learning some C++. Today we're going to be talking about functions, which I've mentioned before. They're going to be something that you can use to uh, organize your code as well as perform some operations with different parameters without having to retype your, retype your code again. So, it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, what we're going to be making to display the use of functions is going to be called a quadratic formula sol solver. Um, if you're not familiar with quadratic formulas, they're functions that uh, are in this form. A x squared plus b x plus c. I'm going to go ahead and make the font a little bigger so it's easier to see. Um, so this is called a quadratic function. It's a polynomial with degree 2. If you don't know about quadratic functions, don't worry about it very much. We're just going to be using the quadratic formula, so you don't really have to know uh, how, how they work. Basically, it's going to be used if we had 0 equals a times x squared plus b times x plus c. Um, and it's a way to solve this, solve this for x. I mean, if you tried to do this kind of algebraically, you'd get c equals ax squared plus b x and from here uh, there's a little bit more you can do but eventually you're going to end up with something that is not going to be solvable so for that reason there's a quadratic formula that we can use to solve for x in this in this case so what it is x equals negative b plus or minus a square root of b squared and i'm just going to write b times b for now I'll, I'll talk about why i'm doing that in a minute uh, b squared minus 4 times a times c. All this divided by 2a. Um, so that's how you're going to solve for x in this kind of um, equation. So let's go ahead and uh, use this to write a C++ program. Let's make plain text. I'm going to make the font a little bigger so it's easy to see. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and start. Include IL stream because we're going to be uh, inputting and outputting some numbers. Let's go ahead and start off in main. Int A, int B, int C. And um, instead of declaring your integers the way we are here, where we go int A, int B, int C, you can do it just int A, comma B, comma C. And that works with any data type. Uh, and we'll talk about other data types uh, probably in the next video. So. Uh, you, you only have to worry about integers right now, because that's all we're going to be using for quadratics, and, um, well, at least in this program. So, uh, let's, let's move on. Int A, B, C, C out, enter A, C in A, C out, enter B, oops, C in B, and... Enter C. C and C. So another, uh, something that I haven't talked about yet, which I need to talk about, are uh, commenting your code, which is a way, the way they work is you preface any lines that you want to be commented with two slashes like that. And then you can type anything you want, and it'll be completely ignored by the compiler until the next return. So these are typically used to outline parts of your code and what they're doing so that when you reread it it's easier to understand um, so let's go ahead and write getting values for a b and c so now we have this comment to tell us what we're doing in this uh, area of the code so now we're going to be calculating the zeros is what we're going to be doing next and the way we're going to do we're going to do this is with a function and so you'll notice that our formula has a plus or minus in it. And we can't do a plus or minus in, um, in C++ because you can only use single integers when you're using the integer data type. So what we're going to do to solve that is we're going to use a function. Um, and the way that you declare functions is you start out with a data type. And this is going to be integer. Uh, and that's the return type of the function. So you'll notice that for main, which is a function, its return type is 0. And that's why at the end we put return zero. It's because it expects an integer to be returned. So let's declare our next function, find zero. 
Um, and then in the parentheses, you can put arguments, which are going to be passed to the function um, that when you call it in main or wherever else. So there are some functions that end up calling other functions, and you can even write a function that calls itself. So you can do some pretty crazy things, but for this video, we're just going to write a simple find zero function. And so we're going to have this taken into A, into B, into C. So the way this is going to work is we're going to call it down here, and it's going to copy any values that we enter straight into this program, into this uh, function, I mean. And then our last argument is going to be int multi. And what that's going to do is that's going to let us decide if we want this to be the positive 0 or the negative 0, meaning if we want this to be a plus or a minus. Obviously, we're going to want both in main. Um, but this way, we only have to write out the formula once, which is another advantage of using uh, functions. Also, if we end up mistyping the formula, uh, we're only going to have to fix it once. So that can be useful uh, when, when debugging your, your, your program. So let's go ahead and do this. int result. Uh, and instead of typing int result semicolon result equals, you can just type int result equals. That's some more shorthand for you. So int result is going to equal, let's see, let's put this right below the formula so it's easy to see, negative b. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do um, plus, well, let's just do plus for now, and I'll show you how we're going to add multi in in a second. Uh, b squared, or b times b. So now I can talk about why we're not doing that. And that's because c++ does not recognize this um, this character, this caret character, to raise something to a power. Um, so that's why we're just doing b times b, because that's all that we're going to be uh, doing in this program. And also the square root function, you'll notice this is a function because we're encapsulating this all in parentheses, um, is not in the IO stream library and it's not part of C++. So you have to include another library. In this case, it's the C math library. Uh, you might see it also written as math.h, um, but that's technically incorrect or improper. So go ahead and use C math um, for your C++ programs. So b times b minus 4 times a times c, and then all this over 2 times a. Uh, so the thing that's going to be modified for the multiplier is going to be this square root. Because negative b stays negative whether we want the positive or the negative 0. But the plus or minus comes in, it's going to multiply this square root. It's either going to be a positive square root or a negative square root. So what we're going to do is going to be plus multi times this square root. So, uh, yep, that looks right. 